Okay, uh, today we are going to uh, talk about this new topic that is gender. Uh, it seems how to some uh, how far away from grammar, but later we know that it has uh, really uh, uh, connection and relation with grammar. Gender, what is meant by gender? Means how to differentiate or describe whether the noun or the creature is uh, feminine or masculine. Feminine means say female, masculine means male. So means how to differentiate between man and woman. In fact, related to gender, uh, we have to give an idea about the uh, English language. English language belongs to one of the languages that we call uh, constructed languages, not like Arabic, which belongs to inflected languages. In a brief, الإنجليزية تعود إلى لغات يسمونها اللغات المبنية. Arabic العربية belongs to تعود إلى أو ترجع إلى اللغات يسمونها المؤربة. What is meant by these two items? In brief, in the inflected language, we have many phenomena. Phenomena. ظواهر كثيرة لغوية in the inflected languages means we have the duality, المثنى means the parsing, الإعراب. Means we have the uh, relation of the number and the noun, like this, like the singular and the plural, like all these things. Uh, most of them are not available in the inflected uh, in the constructed languages, like the English. So, for example, uh, 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 inflected languages, we recognize whether the noun is feminine or masculine from the shape of the word. For example, in Arabic we have fallah and fallaha. We have amil and amila. But in English we don't have such distinction. We have a worker. Worker could be he or could be she. We have a, a, a farmer. A farmer could be he or could be she. This is uh, concerning the languages, whether the language is constructed or what inflected. The second thing we have to deal or uh, to I say before the, uh, say digging deeper in details is that in the English uh, the has uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, articles has no relation with the noun means we can use a for a boy and a for a girl means we don't have say pronoun distinction these pronouns uh, basically or roughly speaking for nouns or for pronouns what we have is Concerning the pronouns, the articles for both, the pronouns, some of them, we call them, say, uh, uh, gender specific, or they have gender sensitivity, means we use for the, uh, all the uh, females, we use uh, she, for all the males, we use he, and we have an area in the middle that is it, for it, we can use for the uh, uh, unanimate creature. While others, for example, they, no, for both. If we have, let's say, ladies, we can say they. If we have men, we can use, uh, uh, again, uh, they. So only for he and she and it, these three pronouns. Uh, now we come to uh, take more details about the first, say, uh, categorization is in 4.95, uh, 59, sorry, we have personal, masculine, and feminine. Uh, nouns means either what either masculine or what or feminine in english here in this respect we have two types the first one is what we call morphologically unmarked while the second one morphologically marked what does it mean of course morphologically means from the what morphology means from the structure of the word here again morphologically unmarked marked unmarked means there is no we say uh, suffix, no sign, no mark to indicate that this for uh, man and this for women. For example, if we have king, what is the feminine for king is the queen. We have a queen. See, we have no relation. This is two different words, king and the queen. And if we have, for example, say monk, and we have what? We have none. Monk and none. Again, no relation between what? Monk and an. If we have, let's say, uncle, we have what? We have aunt. So this is what we call the feminine, uh, masculine, and this is what? The feminine. Or this is, let's say, 
the male and this is what the female see there is unmarked unmarked means there is no relation between if we change the word from uh, from male to female and you have father mother gentleman lady etc you have long list of such in this uh, section so here we call it unmarked but if we come to the second group we call them morphologically means structurally marked in other words means we have a mark that indicate this noun is male or female so if we have some words like this male and then we change it into what into female for example if we have the word duke you know duke is a title that was given to uh, princes in europe um, in the ancient time and could be nowadays used if we this is due for the male for the person i think you took in a drama they call it a dog and also for the dog we have what we have dog so you we have the word duchess see why because we have some relation that's why we say marked mark means there is a sign duke duchess they have some relation not like king and the queen uncle and aunt has no relation see duke and for example if we have the word god and we have what we have goddess see god and goddess again there is a relation originally this one derived from mushtaqa from god you know the meaning of god god means some consider as uh, goddess uh, uh, aliha, ilaha, not aliha, because it's not the plural, but it is. So see these uh, other words. If we have, for example, host, we say hostess. If we have a steward, stewardess. Actor, actress. Say actor, we change it into actress. Actor, actress. That's why we call it what morphologically unmarked. Generally speaking, Concerning this point, and I want to pay much attention about this point, mostly we derive the female from the what from the male. That means we add something, means we add something to these to change them into what to the female. But only in the three items, I'm going to mention two, and you have to search about the third. In the three items, we have the reverse, means we derive the male from the what from the female. For example, the word widow. You know widow. Widow, the, uh, uh, the, the woman that uh, her uh, say husband died recently or died. Anyhow, so widow, widow, originally it is what? For the man, widower. Means see, from the female to what? To the, uh, 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 the, the, from the widow we change into widower or we have for example the word bride you know the bride the lady that in the, in the uh, during the uh, the wedding a bride we have what we have a bride groom bride groom bride and what bride and bride groom so here these two words and still we have another one two three i want you to search about the third in these words we change the female to what male by adding, by addition. The, the process is, but mostly we have what? We have male and female, and the female derived from what? From the female. Only in some exceptions, three could be, we have the reverse. Means we derived what? Derived the, fe the male from what? From the female. Uh, one point left concerning what we call the, uh, some words we deal with as, like the parent if we have parent could be especially with the kinship relations parent could be what could be father and what could be mother see the same word it is parent but could be what father and mother and another word especially the kinship relation kinship means the the family relations either the parent or let's say the word son the or the child better the word child child could be what could be son and could be what could be daughter means both of them could be what could be male or female 
either the parent or the child. Child could be son and could be daughter.